Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a creative YouTuber that's trying to be a year long no buy that I'm soon done with. And today it is another part. Is it my fifth part in my little Christmas series? So I'm spelling out Merry Christmas with my palettes and we are at Y today. And this was hard. I do not have any palette that starts with a Y. I don't have any brand either. So I decided to take this one. This is the Nomad Tokyo Harajuku. And yeah, it's, it's a Y in Tokyo. So I picked this today. And I hopefully we <laughs> get a look out of this. This is a palette that I have some mixed feelings about. Like it's a really cute palette. And... I don't know if you can see them. At one point it was cats in the pants. Like I think you can see this cat. And um, yeah, I'm going to use this today. And I'm going to use a red lip of course. Because it is my 13 days of red. And um, yeah, we will see where this video will go. I have no idea. But I'm going to prime my eyes and then we'll get started. And I'm thinking about doing something green today. So I think with this look <laughs> that I want to take this one, this is the green, I don't know if you can see it, it doesn't look like that. This one and then this one, so like only green. And we'll see how this will go and I have an eyelash in my eye. So as you may have noticed, I've been trying to do these videos. Like a little bit like a get rid with me or something like that because I don't want to just I want something to talk about when I'm doing this. But um, am I even going to get into this? Maybe. Um. Oops. Okay. First, we can talk a little bit about this palette. I've used this quite a lot. I have done three looks from palettes. First impression. And then like a spring look and maybe, no, I don't think I've done a palette bingo with this one. But this is really like, some of the shadows are amazing, like super amazing. This orange is really good and this purple as well, but some of the shades aren't that good. And I can never remember which, which of the shades that are, but these are... Or this is a palette that I... This first row is matte, then it's satin, and then it's duochromes, I think. I don't really get that. And this was like the first pastel palette I tried after um, Creepy Cute. And this is not <laughs> near as good as the Creepy Cute. But like, no. Um, pastels that I've tried is. So, yeah. But I think it works for me. That is this pale. And I have a... I'm so sorry, but I do have a cat hair. Sometimes like a cat hair gets stuck on my septum ring. And it's like going inside my nose. And just annoys the crap out of me. But yeah, I... This palette is not amazing, but some of the shadows are really, really good. But I don't think that I would recommend this, and now I have cat hair. I'm so sick and tired of this cat hair. It's everywhere. Now, Astrid is crazy as well. It feels like we are living in, I don't know, a circus and have like 15 cats. But it's only one that is doing all the noises. Because Ines, is, she is usually, usually pretty quiet. It's Astrid that brings the mayhem. Okay, the thing that I don't want to talk about, the, but that I think I'm going to talk about, should I just do it? It has happened a thing in uh, my life that I'm not going to go into what it is. Because it's not only regarding me. But it's something that has like... That was actually Ines. Now they are apparently crazy, both of them. 
Um, yeah, it has happened a thing in my life that um, is kind of hard, and I I don't know where what to do about. It. I I can't do anything about it, but I like don't know really how to handle it. And I haven't been filming now for a couple of weeks. No, a couple of weeks. For a week, so a couple of days. More. I think it's six days. No. Yeah, I... No. No. Five days, maybe. And I was so looking forward to these 13 days of red. And now I actually don't know if I will make it. I will try my best. And... I know that none of you would get angry with me if I don't do it. I know that. But it's just I do really like to sit down and put on makeup just to have something else to think about. And I do like to film and have something else to think about. But this thing that has happened is like taking up a lot in my head. So I have a little bit hard. It's a bit hard for me to concentrate. And I... Like sometimes I feel like YouTube is a little bit... N I don't know how to put this. But I do not make any money out of YouTube. Like none. No AdSense or anything. And I don't need to do this. And I don't like depend on this whatsoever. I don't know what's wrong with her. I do not depend on this whatsoever. So this is nothing that I need to do. But at the same time. I like to do it. And I like to have this little space on YouTube that is mine and like to talk to you in the comments and everything i like that and it's hard when it happened things in my personal life that mess with my brain and stuff like that and i don't really know how to do things does this even make sense i don't know but like it was with last year, my dad was really sick. Um, he is better now. And that was really, really hard for me. Like to have something, like to not think. I didn't want to think about it always because then, yeah, it would be too much. But at the same time, uh, it's hard to do something else. And I guess that I am there right now. And um, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to make these 13 days of red. I do really hope. But I don't know how it will be with like my favorites from for this year and everything. But I guess if it doesn't happen this year, it will happen in January. It's nothing. It's nothing wrong with that. And I don't know. Maybe things will start to feel better soon. And you know what? This looks just so, so messy. It's I, I I like don't what I don't get with this palette is like why it's a satin row because I am not the person that really likes satin shades. Maybe you are, but I am not. And I don't know. I guess I'm going to cut my crease and go in with one of the shimmers. So I'm taking my trusty little gl glitter primer. I only have this big brush that I did actually enjoy to cut my crease with. It was okay. Maybe not like the super best choice, but... And then I'm going in with this one. <laughs> the greenish one. Okay, what do I feel about this? I don't know, because this shifts in like blue, like green and blue. 
I don't think though that I'm too mad about it. I'm going in with the brush that I had the shade on my lid. Yeah, I don't know. It just feels like I want more of this palette. Like I do want some more pigmentation and I want some more oomph to it. And just, it feels like this could have been such a good palette, but it's just, it's not. And I don't know if I only want like more pigmentation or if I just want something more. I don't know actually if they do still have this palette. I have no idea. As you know, with my Noba, I haven't been like browsing websites this year and Nomad is not uh, a brand. I think I do have two Nomad palettes. But Nomad isn't the brand that I've been... I have always been like a little bit interested in Nomad. And like follow them on Instagram and is still a bit excited when they are releasing things. And uh, I have nothing against them. And there has been a lot of their palettes that I've been really eager to buy but I haven't bought. But it's, I don't know, it's just something that... Uh, it's like they are always convincing me, not like to the extent that I do buy everything, but it is something about Nomad and I think I just wanted more out of this palette. I don't know about this look actually. It doesn't look shit, but I wish I... I want something else in my crease I guess, but like I don't... I don't know what. I have no idea. So the question is now like is this a bad look or does it just doesn't feel good because I'm not having a bad day? It's that I never know but I guess I will take away the fallouts, Figma base, we are going to put on the red together. I guess I know which red I want to go with actually. So I will fix that and then I come back. It's only the lipstick left and I have Taken out three of them. Red Apple from Odin's Eye, Conversion from Kaleidos, and Riptide from Lethal. This collision from Kaleidos has a shimmer or like it's a metallic gold. I don't think that will go. Maybe I should take this red apple because this is a little bit cold. Yeah, I think I will take this red apple from Odin's Eye. I don't want to swatch. Like, I am so dry on my hands. I don't know, I get like, I don't know if it's one kind of like eczema, but when it's cold outside and a little bit moist, like my hand, I, I have just taken like this super rich hand cream, but I get like, my skin is like cracked. And sometimes I do bleed. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take this red apple. It's been so long since I used this. Maybe this is not the, the best kind of red to this. Maybe it works. You know me that I uh, like more of a bright red. But I don't think that I have... And I like super bright red left, so I guess this will go. But maybe this do work. I this is not my favorite um, formula when it comes to look with lipsticks. I think it's a little bit like too dry, and also this has a scent to it. I don't know if it is supposed. I know that. Um, I have talked about this before, like the first time I used it I said that it has a smell and I think that I got a comment that it is a scent to these but now I can't remember and it feels like I 
all the times I've used it, but it feels like it smells, I don't know, like artificial something. Scents in makeup, I don't get it. And um, scented makeup, you may say. For my face, I did use Ombra, Lola, and Ozone. And for my waterline, I did use Extra Frosting from Colourpop. And, okay, I, this palette, I like the idea of this palette. Um, I think this looks work, even though I would want something more with like a punch in my crease but it's like it's no more punch in this not in the i don't know where to hold it maybe she just back back off um it's not that much of a punch and these shadows are so so i guess they are dry there is so much kick up and like it looks like i've been using this palette so so much and i actually haven't not it looks more used than it is and um, I think this is maybe a good complement palette, but not a standalone palette like that. And even like now, I am really pale. I have this eyeshadow base that has no color. So I guess I give the shadows all the best like grounds to be amazing, but it's not. Is it a bad look? No. Is it the best look? No. But... I guess it's okay and like my concealer my powder that I have set my under eyes with before it's empty and I've taken another powder to set my concealer which is not working at all I don't know if you can see it on camera I hope not but like I can see it in real life it doesn't look good at all and yeah but seeing this year is over so I can buy a new setting powder but yeah, I guess that that was all for this video and I am really going to try to finish this 13 days of red. But if it's not going to work, it's not going to work. Um, yeah, I don't know. I am starting the word Christmas after this. and. There was two palettes or three palettes that I was like really, which one should I take? Um, but I decided on one that I do want to use more. So okay, <laughs> I guess that was all for this video. I hope that you are really enjoying this series. I've put, on, put out a few of these now when I'm filming this. I think I have put out three of them. Yeah. And it seems that you like that, uh, like this series, and like that I'm doing. That is not like so Christmas thingy, and not that focused on a red lip, which makes me happy. So yeah, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye.